Hi, Host Eric here, and we Hi, are going Host to Eric begin. Here, and we are going to begin. Is that <laughs> is that you, Tim? Okay, let's start. Okay, let's leave that. Hello, uh, Host Eric here. Host talking to many people today. We're going to do a first ever possible. <laughs> look, look, man. You got you got turn, turn off your mic or put on your headphones. Uh, it's sentence I thought for a second he interpreted to mean show us your crotch. Anyway, um, <laughs> he tilted the video, the camera down. Anyway, I'm going to do a sewing project. This is a sewing project I'm going to do, which is you can see a previous sewing project. Um, this is a previous sewing project that I had is temporarily fixed. This is my pocket in my jacket. I don't do a very clean job of sewing, obviously. But come on, camera. Where's your where's the camera part pointing? See the hole? Bugs me. I put my lighter in there. It falls through that hole and goes into like the inside part of the jacket. So I need to fix that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew this. I'm going to talk about my experience with sewing for a little bit. And I'm going to turn it over to the light bulb. And tell, she can tell us about her experience with her sewing machine and if she actually does any sewing and stuff like that. Okay. I have a sewing project I'll show you as well. All right, cool. So talking with famous people does lots of different topics. This one is sewing. As you see, this pocket has come apart, and what I used to sew are these things, which are sewing stuffs. I'll show you some of the exciting tools that I have. Here's my sewing box, and I have here, where's the needle? I put the needles on top so I don't lose them, but these are all bent. <laughs> like, I dropped them or something, I don't know. This one will be probably fine. All right, so I get the thread and the needle out. The reason I started sewing was because this was left here when Candace left. She did little bits of sewing occasionally, and it just seemed fun. It seemed like something fun, and it seemed like something that you could do something interesting with. But my original thoughts with sewing were like, oh, I'll make a shirt, or I'll make some pants or something. But if you're doing that with your hands, it gets, I realized that if you start sewing things for, with your hands, it takes a really long time if you uh, want to sew it close together, like the, the stitches, right? So you, you end up realizing you can't really sew clothes together by hand. You have to get a machine. Well, now I have a sewing machine. And I will, while I'm looking for a needle to continue with this project, I'll ask Lightbulb to tell me some of her personal life experience with the fine art of sewing. Um, I don't really sew. My mother sews. She made clothes for me when I was a child. Um, so that was fun because I got to be in on the design process. But um, I'm a little resentful because she never taught me how. But maybe I was not interested at a, as a kid. Um, and so Eric uploaded this uh, sewing machine that he found that's hiding inside a, this little table. And I was laughing because I have the exact same thing in my bedroom, which it belonged to my aunt, and she used it. Um, I believe she's in her 80s now. Um, so, well, I have a finger sewing machine that I haven't even plugged in. Why did you go get it? Bring it down and plug it in. No, I don't want to. Okay. <laughs> then let me Not tell right you now. this. Right, I figured. That's, you start with the biggest, the most ambitious idea and work your way down, you see. Um, okay, next stage then. You should play. I like sentences. Don't you love sentences that begin with you should? You should play with your sewing machine. If, I should. We should make each other pairs of pants and mail them to each other. Okay. Okay, I, I will make myself pants first to test the concept. Then I will no. make you. No. No. You don't want my. It's too much. I'm not. Okay, you don't have to do anything, light bulb. I'm going to make myself some pants. If this ends up <laughs> happening. It ends up happening. This is not, this, see, this is the exact opposite of the relationship situation. In a relationship situation, when we were talking earlier how you like things light and easy and no commitment, that I don't like in a relationship situation. In a work project situation, I like things, lots of ideas, whatever happens, happens. Okay. So maybe you'll be inspired to use a sewing machine to do something entirely different, like hit birds with it. 
too heavy. Okay, so I'll let your I'll let your NE go to work. Let's see how your shadow NE does. And you can come up with various things you can do with let your shadow. Let me know because I have no idea how shadow NE works. T Tiffany, do you have thoughts on sewing? Um well, I've sewed with a sewing machine before. I actually made a shirt for a costume and a pair of pants once. That's pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys the hard part. But, but what I did, I didn't see the shirt I was making was the shirt that was supposed to look like uh, like a Frankenstein shirt. Like it was supposed to be like two different shirts kind of put together in different places. It was for an anime character. So I actually took two different shirts, I cut them up, and then I sewed them together. Cool. Now this is the hardest part of sewing. You have to make the string. You got to get the string my, to fit through this little teeny hole. My sewing machine does that for me. It's really difficult. I mean, and the, cam the camera is... Um, not really designed to pick up this up close stuff, but I'm gonna try to get as much of it up close as possible. Let's see if I can get the moment in which it goes through a hole. So, look, as far as, as I guess what you'd say, art mediums go, this is a an art medium where you can make lots of different things, but almost always people use the medium make clothing. I'm thinking there's gotta be things other than clothing, like you can make a sculpture with a sewing machine, right? If you sew some certain stiff cloths together or something one could imagine or something that you could stuff you could stuff something you could you could oh, i got something i'll show you i don't know it just seems like it's a, a medium that has a lot of promise at the same time it does seem like a high time to output ratio activity like you don't get a lot done in the amount of time you put into it did I get through? No. You see, it's really hard. <coughs> Kit Kats, do you have any experience sewing? Barry, do you have any experience sewing? Hmm. All right. Well, what I see here is a serious deficit in sewing related interest or ability. I don't know if that represents a a problem or not, but it certainly does not seem to be popular. So I also think that perhaps my inability to get this in through the hole is a sign from God that maybe the sewing episode of Talking with Famous People is one of those any possibilities that didn't work out. I can't even get through the fucking hole. How do you, like, <laughs> I mean, it, it seems, I can't even believe that anybody would think this is, this is going to work. It does. You can get through the hole. But why did they even think it was possible that this was going to work? Who could get, I mean, it's tiny. Isn't there some kind of tool you can buy that you, like, wrap the thread and then you pull it through? Crochet? No, I'm talking about that size needle. Tiny, like you loop it around something, and you can. It's like maybe a stick type thing or something. I don't know. I tried doing that idea. I tried so doing cool. that idea. I tried trying like getting another needle, and and making and using that to pull it through, but it wouldn't fit through the hole. But I didn't. I don't have any product for that. If you're right, if there's a product, then yeah, I should probably use that. But I mean. I, I always get it through eventually. It just takes something that takes a long time. I guess it wouldn't be a stick. It would have to be something that was bendy. Maybe it's a very tiny vacuum that you put on one side. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, Tiff? Tell me. Uh, well, I actually made this with hot glue, not by sewing, but um, <laughs> it's a sewing-like project. This is a hobgoblin. Uh, yeah. named Behemoth from an anime called Ow No Exorcist, or Blue Exorcist. That's awesome. And I made this for part of a costume, and when I started, uh, it started out looking like a square pillow. And 
my fiance came up to me as I was starting and she just looked at me and she looked at it and she said, oh honey, oh honey, you just wasted like a hundred dollars on materials and you've got a square pillow. And that motivated the fuck out of me. I was up till like four in the morning and I came out with this. And you're like, square pillow, huh? Suck it, bitch. Well, Forget. not quite that aggressive, but that was the idea behind it. Right. Uh, it was for her costume, not for mine. That's the underlying message. And she said, oh, honey, I love it. Is that what happened? Uh, not quite, but it was a, we, had fun, we had a fun event. Here, I'll pull up a picture from, uh, from it. Okay, Dick, what I, is your type? I'm an ENTP, too. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, I still can't get it through the hole. I... Here, <laughs> give it to me. I, I wish I could. I I'll do I could it. Do. Yeah, I, but, and I have good eyesight, too. My eyesight's a little bit like I got to hold things far away from me, but I see clearly. I don't have any blurriness in general. Is that through? No, it's impossible. I give up. That's pretty good. You guys see it? I see it. That's pretty good. That looks really cool. Yeah, that's that's impressive. That's like uh, professional costuming styles. I mean, most of the costumes were purchased, but I made the I made this. Well, anyway, I like it. I'm about to give up, but I'm still try to hope for just one more or two more times. This is the sort of thing that you hate to, because it's, it's you either you get it in once and it's done, right? If you fail to get it in at all, then you can't proceed at all. So it's one of the things that you hate to put time into and not achieve anything. It hinges on one little detail. Yeah. It's a very introverted intuition truth. It's either through the hole or it's not. <laughs> well, can you go around the hole now? Surely I've got to come up with some other way to get this through the hole than just putting it through the hole. I've tried. I've tried lots of other little... i tried making lots of tools. Well, first... What if, wait, what if you use, um, like, tweezers and you get it right up to the edge and then you take the tweezers and you grab it and then you ah, pull it I got through. it, I got it, I got it, I got it! <laughs> Good. <laughs> Look, see... It's through now. That's how you can tell when you can pull it and it's got some tug to it. All right, so now that I have correctly put it through the hole. To make sure, like, you have to be super careful to get through the hole. Like, pull a bunch of it through the hole because otherwise you'll, like, drop it and it'll come out of the hole and you go, no, and you have to do it again. So I've had some experience. I've sewed like four things since I sewed my first thing maybe a couple weeks ago. <laughs> that makes me an expert. Absolutely. <laughs> By far. Definitely. Will you come mend my, uh, <laughs> my clothes? Yeah, it'll probably take like three or four days to finish them. But, but look, the thing is, it depends how carefully you want it mended. Because here's the thing. I want this pocket to not have a hole in it. I don't want my pocket to be show perfect, right? I don't care that you can see that it's white thread on a black thing because it's inside part of my pocket. And even if it were the outside part, I still wouldn't care. So this is how much hole I have to, to close. And here's how long, here's how to do it. So when you go to sew, what you do is you put this through both pieces of cloth and you pull it through and you want to pull a lot of string through because however much you have now is as much as you're going to get. Once you start sewing, you can't pull more string out. You have to start over again. Is this enough string for that much hole? I don't know. I better be safe and pull a little more. All right, so now you think maybe that, like, well, I'll just pull more string out when I get over there. It doesn't work like that because then your, your previous stitches have already happened. But look, if it's too much string, you've got to pull way much stuff, up, stuff through like that. Here, I'm going to put this on here now. Right, so you don't have that problem with a sewing machine, Eric. All right, so look. Uh, here, let me put that over there. Oh, wait, the string. Right there. So, look. so here's the, the jacket, and as I go to sew it, you'll see, because I have so much string, it's kind of a big pull. 
And so you put it through right next to it, as close as you feel like you want to get it without being too laborious. But it's a reasonable pull. It's a two-hander. It's probably too much thread. So I try to make it like it's not going to break, so I kind of get the same spot a few times. As you see, how much progress have I made so far? Very little. Why? Because Eric, sewing's... you are terrible at sewing. Sewing's very slow is the message of this. So then you pull the string through again, and then you put it here. <laughs> get this out of the way. I found I have the... to say it, Eric. Is sewing slow, or are you slow, Eric? The sewing is slow. I think it's a little bit of both. A little column A, a little column B. Um, I found the shirt that I found a I found the costume with the shirt I made. The the shirt underneath the lab coat in that costume is the one I sewed together. Yeah. I also made the scythe and the the crank that goes through my head, and that crank used to actually turn and make a cranking sound. I was very proud of that. That's Are you Doctor Frankenstein or whatever from Soul Eater? Is that the what is that is Doctor Frankenstein from Soul Eater? <laughs> yes, it is. Awesome. One of my first cosplays. It's a good show too. It's an amazing show. I just rewatched the ending a minute ago. Off topic though. Great oh, okay. oh. So now what I'm gonna do is to update everybody on the important sewing news. Um, I'm going to chop off the back end of the string now. Because it's still attached to the ball of the thread, right? It's still attached back here the box and so I want to be able to move my jacket around more without being attached to the box so I'm going to cut this part off if I cut it off too soon you might pull out the stitches you already did and then you have to start over with the stitching now that's not as bad as having to start over with putting it through the needle again but it's still hard to have to start over and <clears throat> getting close getting a little closer so I've got it pretty well sewed up in this area here. I'm going to move it along like so. Anybody else have any clothing, mending, costuming, sewing, hot gluing, uh, crocheting, knitting stories that you'd like to share? Well, Tiff? I think thinking. you're next in line. Well, I've been like putting mine up the whole time on the screen. <laughs> okay, well I did. I changed. A, I was a fairy in my twenties for Halloween, and it came with sleeves that went like around your arm right here. And I took them off, and I put new sleeves. I put ribbon that went over my shoulder instead. That's I think the last major sewing project that I did. I have an upcoming costume project. What is it? My next costume slash cosplay, I want to be the Heath Ledger version of the Joker. My favorite villain of all time. Well, that and I can do I can do the I know. I I I can do the voice pretty well though, so I, I I'm gonna cut my hair and I'll dye it green. I'm not even gonna use a wig. I'm gonna do the whole thing all out. Oh, I love that. I love that you're going to use your real hair, and yeah. that's awesome. I love it. That reminds me of that beautiful, uh, the U.S. office. I'm going to assume that everybody watched that show here, but that beautiful I Halloween hate it. episode. Really, man? Dude, there was a, a Creed moment where everybody Carmel. came as, oh, my God, dude. Everybody was a joker, and it was amazing. All right, <laughs> that does so, sound amazing. Um, <laughs> then let's talk this. Why do you suppose, or do you suppose it's the case, or is it just a statistical fluke, that watching talking with famous people is contraindicative to sewing? What does that word mean? What did you? What? It, it means there's a re, there's a reverse correlation, basically. It's a reverse correlation. It says that you're that if if you are have one, it's less likely you have the other. I do not think that they are related in any kind of correlational relationship. Okay. But that would be that would be in line with ENTP. Yeah, it would. <laughs> I mean, the thing is... But I, correlation isn't causation either. 
Well, yeah. nobody. I'm not saying. I'm not saying talking to famous people causes people to dislike sewing. <laughs> I I would never say. I was never putting talking to famous people at the causal end of things. Um, I'm trying to say these the type of people who like this kind of stuff are probably like. Okay, well, what other media have people worked in besides sewing? Who here has, has dabbled in painting or drawing? I'll show you the artwork that we're going to sell at the convention next week. Give me one minute. Go get it. How about you, Tim? What kind of media do you do besides this? I play an instrument, if that's a uh, yeah, that's a medium of media. I play guitar. I mean, I like to fiddle around. I'm no expert. Uh, do you, have you tried bass at all? I mean, you know, same similar instrument, basically. I got one right around the corner. Yeah, I got a red Ibanez I fiddle around with. You I got fiddle. a classical acoustic electric, and I got a bass that I just love to play. Do you have access to oh, a drummer? Uh, that's that's kind of nice. You have access to a drummer. That's one of the key my things my pops is a drummer. Yeah, I guess a drum set around the corner too. I bet you're badass, dude, Mr. Modesty. <laughs> Sorry, I mean I don't play drums. I wish I did. I don't. I don't really want to take the time to learn. Loud, very loud, learning drums. Oh, dude, but they're super fun. They're super fun. Um. Okay, Tiffany, what do you got to show us? Some pokey things. So, me and my fiance, we make a uh, perler bead crafts. There's these little beads, and you put them on a pegboard into Ooh. a pixelated picture, and you iron them together. And we make fridge magnets and all kinds of fun stuff out of them. And we're selling them at a convention in New Hampshire next weekend. And if possible, I actually want to pipe into one of the GTM rooms from the convention's artist alley because I think that would be pretty cool. Go oh, cool. Around. Yeah, that'd be great. Go around with a camera and, and talk to people. Those are neat. Those are really cool, too. I mean, they look great. Yeah. Is that a My have... Little Pony? It was. They're very <laughs> popular. I don't have the coolest one with me because it's sitting on my desk at work, but I will show you a picture because it's a 3D creation that I made. And it's oh, yeah. Awesome. Hang on. 2D pictures and 3D items are my favorite. Which pony was that? I don't know their names, the new ones. I don't know their names either. Good demo. Yeah. Maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> that's funny. I like that. Okay, here we go. So uh, that is a companion cube from Portal turned into a yeah. tissue box made entirely out of perler beads. That's awesome. I've had that for two years running now. No one's wanted to buy it because it's $100 because it took me 10 hours and I don't work for less than 10 an hour. But the amount of attention it brings to our table at the convention well pays for itself even if no one ever buys it. You know what you need? You need one of those making up an Abraham Lincoln. Everybody likes Abraham Lincoln. They trust him. They say, I'll buy from this table. Abraham Lincoln endorses it. Are we talking full body or headless Abraham with the hat? No, full body. Full body with the long legs. With the long legs and uh, with b wearing his honesty proud. A dapper outfit for a dapper man. Yeah. I think I'm done like with my repair. That. It's done, guys. So <laughs> I've completed my sewing. When I put my finger in this pocket now, I don't think I'll be able to poke it through any anywhere. And that's the goal. <laughs> I'm not trying to get it perfect or anything, but you'll see. I'll bring the camera over here. That I have completed the sewing. That it is all sewed up. Um, why is this? It's like where I point. It doesn't seem to be where it. See that? That's the sewed up part that you sewed up. Anyway. So and that's how to sew with Eric. And if you think this sewing episode was really boring, I've got some good news for you. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the last sewing episode ever. I'm talking with famous people. Oh, man. Unless, Send all your mending items to Eric. Unless this video gets likes or something, in which case, fuck yeah, we're doing more sewing videos. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching.